Hello everyone and welcome back to Paint with Pete. Ever since I drew my first picture, I wondered if it was possible to be inside of a painting. Since I found out there is no such thing as magic, I had to find another way to achieve my goal. If I couldn't be in a painting physically, I at least wanted to achieve the illusion of being in a three-dimensional space. There are many ways you could create an illusion like that, but the most obvious one would be panorama photography, like they use for Google Street View. Well, we are not going to take pictures. As you can see, we are going to paint it. First thing to note, the image proportions have to be 2 to 1. The image has to be loopable. Can you even say that? What I mean by that is, when you use the offset filter of Photoshop, the transition has to be seamless. On the top and on the bottom too, but we are just leaving them with gradients for the moment. We are basically painting the inside of a bubble. We have to deal with very strange foreshortenings and weird curves. That's why I chose to do a mountain environment, because there are not as many straight lines, therefore mistakes will be less noticeable. I inserted guidelines to remind me where the viewer will be looking most of the time. We should spend most of our effort in between those lines. Also, the perspective distortion isn't quite as bad close to the horizon. In fact, it gets really more crazy towards the top and the bottom. The bottom? really is the worst. The distortion is so bad that you either have to stick to a flat color or you solve the issue in a 3D program. That's what I do. Here I jump into Cinema 4D, but other programs work just as fine since we are doing very simple stuff. Basically we are creating a sphere and a camera. The position of the camera is right in the center. Then I created a landscape floor, but the flat image would also do the job. But first, we have to paint a texture map for said floor. This doesn't have to be very beautiful because we need to paint over it one additional time when we are integrating it into our original painting. And done! Now, we can jump back into cinema and put in the floor. What I'm doing here in cinema is basically this. I'm inserting 3D objects into my background painting I otherwise would not get right. Then I render this as a 360 map with a V-Ray projector. I do the same thing off camera with the ceiling as well. Enough 3D for today. Now we are back into Photoshop and paint over our rendering. This is important because the image will not feel complete otherwise. Of course you can spend an infinite amount of hours doing that. A 360 painting strength are also its downfalls. Since the viewer decides where to look at, artistic tools like composition and framing get taken away from you to some extent. It looks as if we are finished. If you want to see it for yourself, you should go on my blog. Or if you are already there, you should have a look below this video. I integrate the Street View VR and you can spin around until you get sick. So, that's it guys. See you soon. Bye.